Good to see you again. Uh, you heard my briefing to the Council, uh, where I laid out in quite some detail uh, uh, the achievement I think we have uh, reached with uh, no, an agreement on the Constitutional Committee. And uh, I also uh, you know, want to use this opportunity to thank the Security Council for their strong support uh, to the work that uh, I and my team have been doing, and also the support for the work that we will have to do. As I said in my briefing to the Council, uh, this is obviously one step, but an important one. It's the first time we have an agreement between the two parties, and where they have agreed to sit together, uh, the nominees from the Syrian government and from Syrian opposition, together with civil society, that they will sit together face to face. And it's important that we use this opportunity to move forward, but of course also that we work in parallel on all the other issues that needs to be solved in Syria and that we need to see changes on the ground in Syria. And as you know, I made a special appeal when it comes to the release of abductees, detainees, and more information on missing persons. And I also felt I got a strong support from the Council also on all these issues. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Special Envoy, Mr. Ambassador. I, Pamela Falk from CBS News. Indeed. My question is, you seem optimistic. What's the timetable to get this done? Is it a constitutional amendment or is it a new constitution? And we just heard a very contentious back and forth between Iran and Saudi Arabia. How does that play into this? Um, the good news is that this is, uh, you know, for the Syrians to decide, the 150 members and the 45 members of the drafting committee. But I'm absolutely convinced that they will live up to their responsibilities. It's a unique opportunity to uh, create a new constitutional reality for Syria. And uh, that uh, using this uh, opportunity, they will work together and hopefully uh, be able to bridge all the differences that will be necessary to find uh, a solution to this. And your best hope for a timetable? I, I don't think I will speculate on the timetable. We have been discussing this a lot, and we have agreed that we will work seriously, expeditiously, and that we will be looking for ways of finding a solution on this. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer Peltz from the Associated Press. Following up on uh, Pam's question, is it envisioned that this would be a new constitution or an amendment or overhaul of the existing? You know, uh, this is about what we call a constitutional reform. And it's mentioned amendment, it's mentioned new constitution. Uh, as you know, an amendment can also be bring a new constitution. So I, I really don't think that is the issue. The issue will sort of be how you address the core tenets of the Constitution and how you move forward on that. And luckily enough, it's not me will, that will decide this. This is the Syrians themselves that will decide this. Thank you, Maria Hrenova with TAS News Agency. Uh, Mr. Prodersen, follow up on two meetings which were announced at the Security Council meeting. Uh, first of all, your trip to Damascus, uh, mentioned by uh, Mr. Jafari. Uh, when it will take place, do you have the exact date? And uh, uh, the Astana meeting in, uh, uh, in uh, Kazakhstan capital, which is not Astana anymore, uh, will you take place, uh, uh, will you participate in this meeting? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I hope to visit uh, Damascus sometime, not this is it's Monday today, isn't it? So not this week, but uh, next week, and then immediately after that to see the SNC, the opposition, uh, most probably in, in, in Riyadh. And there will be uh, lots of meetings, uh, Astana, small group, uh, and I, I don't know the schedule for that yet. Yeah, it's uh, Michel Gandour with Al Hura Television. Uh, will there be any consequences in case one of the parties complicated the talks? And second, all the members will stay in Geneva after 30, uh, October 30th, or they will go back to their countries? Uh, you know, the 150 members will be there as long as there is a meeting, and then they will go back to their, uh, to their homes and uh, stay there until there is a, there is a new, uh, new meeting. Uh, I should have mentioned when you sort of were asking about... 
I, I'm, that's what I'm coming to. So I should have mentioned that, uh, as you will have seen in the agreement that we have negotiated, I will be reporting to the Security Council, of course, on a regular basis on the progress of the work of the committee. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, Good to see you again.